everybody welcome back to another why don't we reaction today very very different kind of content today actually so i've had a lot of requests to do the staying like the, the 30 days with why don't we the youtube series um and i just figured you know what i've done all this content already for it for why don't we and you guys seem to really be enjoying it so why not that being said i said in this that there's a pinned comment it's that that i the patreon that if you comment if you join the patreon within the next 48 hours and send me a message saying that you are in the patreon because of this video uh i you can see that in the vlogs recently i've had been wearing this cool actually i have it right here some a cool key jr key necklace so i'm giving that away um so you could be the lucky winner. So want to check out the Patreon, a whole bunch of extra content, including music uh, production kind of tips and stuff. So like you can learn about all the different things that I talk about in my reactions. You can learn a little bit more about music production. Um, as you can see, we're doing this in the live stream. So I'll, I'll be communicating with people in the live stream and it'll stay here on, on YouTube unless it gets blocked and we'll figure it out from there. But we'll see what happens. Uh, as always, you can check out my music. That would mean so much to me. If, if you uh, want to support this channel in, in any way, the best way that you could support it would be to check out my music. That would mean a ton to me, more than anything else, actually. Uh, so that being said, let's get uh, let's get straight into the video. All right, let's uh, got some coffee here. Let's see what we got. Also, if you have not seen my uh, my my cover of. Uh, of their song, their new song, uh, or I guess it's not, I, the, Slow Down. It's my cover of Slow Down and, uh, and um, uh, Post Malone's Circle. So if you have not seen that, that'd be really cool. Actually, really cool thing. Actually, if you want to watch the vlog tonight, because it's, it's, it's Why Don't We Related, and it's pretty pretty cra a pretty crazy announcement about Why Don't We and my, uh, my cover. It's actually pretty wild. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to get straight into it, so here we go. Let me know if you guys, it's loud enough for you guys, but we're going to get started. Oh, look at that. Hold up a sec. I mean, I'm not going to pause all that, or at least we'll see what happens, but I'm, tr I'm going to try not to pause all that often. Um, but let me just show that. I mean, I, I love a good synthesizer. You go, look at that Moog synthesizer right there, man. Though Moog is top-notch synths. Wait, somebody told me that they changed their logo. It doesn't look like they changed their logo. I like that old font logo. No, that's great. Thanks, man. Here we go. Fallen. Two. One, two. Three, this is Fallen is one of the first I have to say Fallen is I think is one of the first on my channel that I reacted to on my channel um, And it you guys blew that up man. It did that was one of the best videos on my channel for a while, which is crazy uh, It's pretty wild actually It's cool to see who plays what like I didn't know that Daniel played the drums on these two um, Somebody said that they had to get it cleared from Kanye West uh, because it, it like was really reminiscent of Black Skinhead, um, but that's pretty. I didn't know he played it on it. I thought it might have actually been a sample of Black Skinhead. There's that vocoder. That was the best one today. You've been hiding from the bass your whole life. Bass has been trying to find you, dude. No, this is. Fun. It is, oh, man. Fun. There was like. What is that? Oh, is that? You guys are way more of a real band than you let on. Oh, huh. thanks. Yeah, this is really impressive. Right, thanks. That is so good. It's really fucking good. See, the thing with rehearsals now is it's so tiring, but so uh, fun. We should have a contest. Who's going to become the best band? Yeah. Fallen is going to be crazy. This song is so much different compared to anything that we've I love seeing behind the scenes stuff. I think it's actually pretty wild. Put out in the past. To by see writing like artists record, in their own element. People. We are more than just this lovey-dovey boy band. There's substance to us. The biggest pressure right now that sort of comes with that is like, will they like the old Why Don't We Better? Do tomorrow. Rehearsal. We see that's really interesting and that's I think something that as, as creatives we struggle with a ton. Uh, this idea of 
you know, getting pigeonholed into one thing and then trying to break free from that pigeonhole in the sense of like, look, even with this channel, like I'm a musician myself and I make my own music, but, and I have this fear of getting pigeonholed into this only being a reaction channel. Uh, and it's the same with them where they were saying like, you know, they, they have the old, why don't we, which was, um, this lovey dovey, like romantic kind of like, you know, more like pop style. Now they're going into their own kind of stuff. Uh, so they're wondering if, and concerned of whether or not people would, would would like it as much Ooh, baby we have a music video so i have to get my hair cut because my hair is long it's so long um yeah it's been too long it's back to quarantine hair my i have a 16 quarantine year old hair. son he comes up he's like dad can you fix my hair and he comes and brings me a picture of Zach's hair <laughs> it's harder to do this. oh that's wild imagine that imagine your son coming up and being like that's Nothing wild though that's like an art piece are you gonna let me style it no I think it looks good, just like that. You look like Youngblood. For this album, he did look like I might blood. have to spoil myself with some new shoes. <laughs> Even though I already have none. <laughs> it was funny, my process of doing my hair has taken me like almost four years like to actually perfect. That's really funny because I comment on every video how every single one of their hair is different and every one of their videos the hair is different. So that's really funny that he's saying that, that the, that's the case. Curling iron, blow drying in, some texture powder. And then the most crucial part, shake it back and forth like this so the air gets in it and then it just rests. I'm pretty high maintenance. Yo, what is texture powder? I gotta check that out, man. I'm pretty particular. I mean, you can't see right now because I have a hat on, but I'm pretty particular about my hair. my hair. It's more of just I think I'm OCD and I take it out on my hair. I think that's the problem. <laughs> when I'm stressed that, out, I like that take, like, thing one looks like almost and, like, like it's their logo. Make it perfect. It's really <laughs> just stupid. From a young age, I had this sense that I was gonna do something big, whether that was be an MLB player or be in music or whatever it was. Like I was like I'm gonna do something like huge with my life. I learned piano when I was really young. My mom taught me and she went to school for music and stuff. I remember the first like instances of me singing on the internet. <laughs> I would get so embarrassed. When I started doing music, I actually wanted to be an architect. Music. Man, that's so wild hearing all this stuff. Because so I related to to what um oh I, I totally drawn a blank on his name. Um the curly haired one, I apologize. Uh, he was saying how he wanted to be an MLB player. Growing up, I wanted to be a, 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 a NFL player. I wanted to play in the NFL, and then like I, I had that same feeling. I, I knew I wanted to do something big with my life. And then now here, Daniel's saying that he wanted to be an architect. I was literally in an architect class thinking I wanted to be an architect, dropped out, and then uh, dropped out of that class, and then took up a piano and guitar class, and that's where I started doing music. Like Actually, like whoa, I really want to do this as a career. That's wild, man. That is so crazy. I'm so far fetched, and my dad. Jonah, yes, yeah, sorry. The first time I ever it's on. sang for a video or anything, and I was like terrified. I apologize. I want to say I apologize for not always knowing the names because, like, like I say, I do a lot of different reactions on this channel. So trying to remember, like, you know, there's five members of Pentatonix, there's five members of Why Don't We, there's you know all the like. So there's a lot of there the little mix and and all these super fruits and all these different people's names. I'm trying to remember. I apologize. I'm doing the best that I can. Oh, okay. Hey, dude, um, one second. Wait, hold on, I want to see that again. I missed it. One second. It's funny, man. Like, <laughs> I know. it's a ton of work to go back and, like, do these, like, OG videos because you don't realize how much, like, you got to find all this content. This content is, so, like, where is all this content that they have to find? It's It's pretty crazy. The last show that we did was December 23rd of last year. I think it's like a bit scary when you go from a high like touring to especially go from that to nothing. The touring side of it is such like a, it's almost like a celebration. Like you're just like going out and seeing the impact that you're That's making. That's interesting. That's pretty in cool. That's a cool seeing perspective. seeing all these people who are like, genuinely love the music and want to come out and support it. And it's just like, I miss the tour bus. <laughs> uh, I feel like a big positive. See, like, I think that that is something that I have not experienced yet, but it's probably one of the coolest things to experience as a musician, where it's like when fans sing your own lyrics back to you, that's gotta be the wildest feeling. One of it is we wouldn't have wrote this album without quarantine. Our next single is Lotus In, so that's gonna be fire. 
and it's cool because in the video it's gonna be like in reverse so it'll be like you're literally turning back the time of the bad shit you guys went through it's funny, before COVID hit, I had my first panic attack ever, and I thought I was having a heart attack. No way. I was definitely sleep deprived. <laughs> um, and just working more than any normal human does. On top of that, I was dealing with my ex and having a child, so I was like, I was going through Oh, so he's the one that has a kid. I knew that one of them had a kid. She's mad cute, man. A lot for 19. Right? Yeah. Daniel had anxiety, too, before. When I told him about mine, he wrote a song about it. Like, and now it's on our album. It's called Be Myself. What? Oh, I'm pumped to hear that, man. Because, you know, I, I, if you've checked out some of the vlogs, I talk about all the time um, anxiety and struggling with it. And I think that a lot of artists, that, you know, creatives in general, I think, struggle with a lot of anxiety. Especially, like, we're creatives, so our imagination gets creative and crazy, you know. So we can really go hard in our, in our imagination. So, um I can definitely relate to that. I'm really looking forward to hearing that track, actually. Dancing on the edge of anxiety's legend I might fall again, I might fall And it's like, take me somewhere I can be I can be myself It's ridiculous. And Dude, the vocals are insane. He wrote it, the whole thing. It's a beautiful song. A lot of people too are like, thanks so much for opening up about it. I'm like, I'm like, no, I, I need to for myself. <laughs> if I can help someone else out, that. that's good. Absolutely. I don't want anyone to feel what I feel because it's scary, bro. That looks fire. It's a bad time and a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag what? <laughs> Good times and bad ones. T G T A A T B O T B O Tic Tac Boo. I have to right, say, man, ready? like three. B and two, hold on, what, one, where's my mouse? Uh, it uh, it makes me slightly like jealous that they're like of the band feel. Like I I love being a solo musician because like I don't have to rely on anybody else like to practice and stuff. But like they seem like they're just like such tight bros, man. And it, I have to say, it does make me kind of jealous. Oh, we're trending. We named the album The Good Times and the Bad Ones because, one, I mean, it definitely summarizes the album. We did it for the good times and the bad ones. But two, I feel like it also kind of just summarizes life. Like, life is just a bunch of good times and a bunch of bad ones. This is our first picture together. Kids, man. Man. What the heck? And it kind of looks like our album cover. You see like, that? Dude. Oh my god. Oh, I pointed that out in one of the things that, they, that their, their last and first video uh, photos uh, look very similar. I don't even remember uh, looking like that. <laughs> <laughs> this album is the first. Yo, that's album wild. Look at that. Looking like that. <laughs> Look at that certified. What is that? Gold. That's wild. Certified. That's crazy. So I guess trust fund, is trust fund baby one of their top songs. Let's see. Can I make that even clearer? No, I guess it's the clearest it gets. But that's cool, man. Good for them. <laughs> this album. That is, that's gotta be the craziest feeling when you get one of those plaques. Is the first album that we wrote and produced completely on our own. Yeah. Which honestly, in pop music, is really rare. Yeah. And I think fans will hear our voice more than ever in this album. Like, they're gonna hear certain things and be like, oh, yes, I can tell that's them, like, yeah. for sure. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I just saw how to do that on TikTok. That's wild, actually. It's uh, it's the cotton. You get the cotton stuffing from like toys, and you put it on the ceiling, and then you put LED lights in there, and it creates this cloud-like look. That is pretty cool. I was debating doing that in the studio. Uh, I think it'd be cool one for um, to give cool effects, but also two as soundproofing. I think it'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Luke is just like, what the hell do I do right now? All right, I'm, all right, I'm about to go live, y'all. I'm about to go live. The album. Yo, first of all, actually, I want to know what y'all think of the album name. Yes, comment. Dude, and now we wait. Someone said your neighbors hate you. <laughs> hey, guys, look, I've been whitening my teeth. Can you tell? Hey. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, shake uh, it up, Sonora. Wait, I need a drum roll from all of you, please. Do they all live together or do they all live separately? My wife popped a, sh a bottle of champagne on Christmas and it boof, flew off and hit the ceiling. Like, thank God it was like pointing at a window because it easily would have went through the window. 
Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. To the good times and the bad ones. If you enjoy this album when it drops, you'll hear things that have gone on in our life, and you'll know sure, that it's us. Miss. Yeah. You'll know that it's us. It's true. Yeah. Love you guys. All right, bye. Peace out, y'all. Peace out. <laughs> this, is, ah, this, this album's going to 10 times diamond. <laughs> 10 times diamond. Let's see. That'd be sick, man. I'm pumped to hear this music this, this video. I mean, this, this album. Shooting a wardrobe for the music video. Like, with the video design, it, it makes sense. The smiling. Oh, look at that. We both got our Stand Starbucks. Below the scene, baby. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. This is me today. I'm just the straight happy guy. Because it's like also about the emotion that you're giving off right. too. Is, like, we're flipping it, like kind of going vintage '90s with it. Look, I'm back in the don't change video. Nice. Which is gonna be a cool flip up from like the glossy, like glam rock that Fallen was. You don't mind, but I like this looks cool. I'm excited to see how it turns out. It actually looks kind of sick. Yes. It's so funny, like you think about the production that some of these videos have, like. I just recently mentioned this, I think, in Justin Bieber's video uh, when I did the uh, the the um, his new one, any his new music video, anyone. I find it wild when you see, like the the, the now the like the, the budget. I guess I'm what I'm trying to say. Like, think look at how much steak and clothes is there. All the different options they have for the shirts and the pants and the shoes. It's crazy. Now you get like the Justin Bieber's. Like, I felt like I was watching a movie when I was watching anyone. So like hundreds of thousands if not a million dollars spent on that one music video you know it's it's uh, so i'm curious what their budget for each music video is it's it's got to be crazy I love it. it's got to be crazy one of the tough things about making music is like deciding music edit session i'm pumped i love seeing this stuff behind the scenes kaigo does a really cool like behind the scenes of uh his 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 songs i love when artists do this um, and that's why, honestly, like I, the stuff that I post on my channel is stuff that I would want to see. You know, I'd like to see, you know, Ed Sheeran break down a song of that he, or, or what he experiences like when he listens to a song. I'd love to see artists break down. The Chainsmokers are really good at breaking down their songs. Um, first of all, I want to pause really quick and do thank you um, very much for everybody that's in the live chat. So if um, if you're not on this channel, hit, hit that subscribe button and you can get see get notifications for these live videos where I'm doing these live, you can we can interact. Um, that being said, uh, we have maybe some more Kygo reactions coming in the future. Uh, what was the other comment before? Uh, yes, I am gonna post this live. I'm gonna post it on the channel if it doesn't get blocked. If it, if it so if you're watching this, if it doesn't get blocked, it'll be posted immediately. If it does get blocked, it takes about 48 hours to get unblocked. So, I'm it's pumped. Done. Music's edited session. It's all fine details, but now since we're shooting the video, we've got to get it done. <laughs> all right, so it looks like they're using either Ableton. Or, that looks like Ableton, actually. Yeah, live, you can see Live 9, Ableton Live 9, probably. Oh, that one didn't even have all of yours. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't quite as big as the first one. Like, listen to what this one did. So I wonder how much of the process they did with mixing it. So I know that they recorded it and wrote it all themselves. I wonder, though, if Daniel actually sat and mixed the whole thing and mastered the whole thing, or if they outsourced that. Um, I'm really curious about that. We just kind of came off of... Nobody seeing it. See, look at that. That's look at the look at the time. Three oh six. That is the best part about being a musician, being self-employed. Not even a musician, a self-employed in general. You could do you you own your time, man. You do whatever you want. It's what twelve thirty, twelve twenty-five on a on a Wednesday, and here I am watching YouTube on live with you guys. Like, it's this it's the best, man. It, it's stinking cool. So, uh, if do what you love, and you don't do you don't work a day in your life. We just kind of came off of nobody seeing us for eight months and then we put out fallen and it was like oh look at that that's cla vocals right there that's a plug-in a vocal editor that's really interesting let me rewind it let's see some of those settings i use nobody that on my vocals for eight months and then chris lord alge vocals so they, they really crank in the, the put out fallen okay so we, he's really pulling out a lot of the low end mid ranges uh, upper end range is pretty he's cranking that one that's pushed all the way up is the um the uh compression then this is, uh, I believe, reverb, echo, and then stereo. So it's really interesting to see that. I love seeing artists, uh, artists' uh, settings on stuff. And it was like this big change of like, oh, new sound, new look. So now the idea with Lotus In is kind of like, we need to flip the narrative a little bit. We play instruments and 
Well, I still just responded to the chat. If you don't understand it and you want to learn more, check out the Patreon. I'm starting to post some like music uh, production stuff to explain, go further in depth what I'm talking about in these videos. Uh, so you can enjoy these videos, but also my music, uh, not my music, enjoy vi videos but, and also the music that you listen to on a daily basis more uh, better just because you understand what's happening. We can also tell stories with the music. Damn. That's a, that's and just funny. like that, that's how you saw something. Yeah, correctly. I could probably do some of these Kygo you know ones. That's probably a cool idea. This one specifically is me and Jonah made this in a hotel room. Well, we wrote it in the in the terminal of oh, the Newark yeah. Airport. Yeah, and we were Newark Airport, man. That's a cheap air. I don't know, like, I don't know. I've never been to the actual. Oh, I've been there like once, but if you want to fly out of New York City cheap, you go to Newark. That's where all the cheap flights are. Recorded our vocals that are on the record. That in night. this hotel room, we yeah. had like pillows up in the corner of a room. We tied the mic to a lamp. Oh and, yeah, yeah, it was like literally... hanging and like <laughs> the demo. Like the demo was really special. So that lead vocal is still my it's demo. It's still the same one. Oh, that's okay. cool. So what he's saying right there is they were, so a lot of artists do this and it's something that I never really got into um, because I just, I, I personally, I guess every I guess you could technically call every single one of my songs a demo because a lot of artists what they'll do is they'll record demo versions and what that is is it's like a it's like a an idea version. They just want to get the idea onto paper or into logic or Ableton, whatever they're recording into. And then from there they'll actually go into the studio and re record it. Um, but what he's saying right here is that is essentially their um, their demo vocals, his original like not so great recording like they probably use a cheap mic like you said he hung it from a lamp like but they ended up just keeping that instead of going into the studio and re-recording it because very very often you'll find that the demo takes of things are actually better than the original because in the original i'm sorry not in the, the, the studio version because in the studio version you try to be so perfect and um you try to uh like make it sound so good but when in the original you're just really going for the feel of it in the demo you're going for the feel and just trying to get get your feelings out there so very often you'll hear that like uh demo guitars and demo vocals even demo drums a lot make it into the the, the, the final product then compared to the the original Maybe we could turn yeah. that lotus and was very much envisioned to be a stadium song like it just sounds like one of those just big songs and so the video obviously has always been like important to us that we get it right um and we're shooting it in like days so i like that that curved uh monitor that's cool oh look at that so this thing right here can you guys see my mouse on here is my does my mouse show up oh you don't can't see this okay hold on let me move my let me move myself okay so look at this thing can you guys see my mouse uh i don't know if you can let's see yeah okay i, I think you can um, okay, so let's see. Okay, so this thing right here is called, looks like it is the Apogee Duet. Apogee, Apogee Duet. Um, and what it is, is it's a, um, it's a uh, uh, audio interface. And that is what you record. Uh, or maybe it's a universal audio, but it's a, it's a, it's an audio interface. And what it is, is I have one, I don't know if you can't really see it over here, but I have one over here. And that's what you plug all your instruments into, uh, whether it be vocals, whether it be, uh, 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 microphones, whether it be uh, anything that you want to record that you have to get from a microphone um, into the computer, that's what it's called a, um, a audio interface. I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because it's got to be perfect. Well, I want to rehear those, those, those vocals. In like days, so I'm kind of nervous, honestly. Cause I, it's gotta be perfect, dude. I want to get one of those layered desks where you could fit a full piano at the bottom of it. Um, that would be sick because I think they got some sweet gear, man. Let's just take a look at this gear really quick. Obviously, they have this mini harp thing going on, which is pretty wild. Look at that. So this, this that's pretty cool. They they have the the microphone hanging from a, a boom microphone, and they have the padding around it. Um, very often you'll see that uh, they they um hang microphones upside down because this is actually really interesting for artists when they sing uh they actually want the artist to look up because if the microphone's in front of you down here you you'd have a tendency to look down even if it's up here you have a tendency to look down whereas opposed to if it's flipped upside down you have a tendency to look to look up and they want the um the, the the recording engineers want like and you sound better when you're looking up and singing um so 
that is uh, something very interesting. Um, let's see what else they have. Electric drum kit, um, which are, is cool because you can choose any sound you want and actually program into the drums. Um, they have the subwoofer on the floor, so very interesting. Subwoofers, you could actually really put pretty much anywhere in the room. It doesn't have to be facing you because of the way the bass frequencies work. You could put them anywhere in the room, um, or at least like it doesn't have to be like facing you, where like the, these actual monitors have to be facing you. Uh, he has two different reference monitors. The, the the yellow ones, the black and yellow, are very, very popular with hip-hop style. It's uh, I think it's called KRKs. Um, so let's see. What else we got? Um, you can see their plaques over here. I don't belong in this club, man. That's got a serious... That's pretty sick. Uh, and then the, lastly, the last thing we're, let, let's talk about with this is the um, the these big monitors. It looks like he's on... They, he has them placed on top of... Um, uh, padding so that it doesn't they don't rumble and you actually get a clean sound rather than an affected sound uh, let's see it feels like the same exciting there's a ton of work that went into this video man it's pretty wild all actually five had at the very beginning of all this like when we like were taking off at the first like you know they're fans that want to see us this is crazy it's that same type of feeling but now it's like tapping into what we were meant to be, you know? Then to be able to like set yourself apart from that after having that success, there's Corbin. <laughs> Did you see him taking a selfie? I think he just took a selfie with the party. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Speeding and taking selfies, that's Corbin for you. That's bad. I was, they just happened to be uh, on the road together? Well, those are all just sleeves of our album that we have to sign like it's uh, that's wild that's a lot imagine being the guy that had to take the dump truck and and just de deposit all those sleeves there this album is definitely a departure from the old us yeah it's really hey happy like birthday the first Bonnie. time that we've had Shout a chance out to, the to lose our voices in the way that we've wanted to i always just remember it being hard to like counter any opinion that we didn't necessarily yeah, agree with. Who am I to tell this massive, you know, yeah, exact, music industry executive, yeah. like, yeah, That's exactly. A good point. So it's definitely That's the special moment of us kind of being like, no, this is what we think. It feels like what we should be doing. Like we always talked about the fact that we're not just an average boy band, you know, we're, we're more than that. Like, but I, we never really like showed anybody. I know. Well, that's the thing is from an outsider's perspective, if you went to our show, mm -hmm. that's a boy, like it's a boy Yeah, band. it's a boy it's band a boy show. Band. So yeah. now it feels so the cool closest... that we're like, they're going to come to our show and we're going to be like, bopping. Like playing a bunch of instruments. Big bopping, like, dude. Only big bopping. I know that this music is the best music that we've made. Let's do what we love and do a lot of it. That's a good statement, man. Yes. Ever. This is a lot scarier than what we've done before, too. Like, it is. at least for me, I feel very like I'm laying my heart out on the table, you know, at least with the songs that I wrote on. And also, like, we're really saying, like, this is our entire craft. This is what mm -hmm. we do. This mm -hmm. is like all of my talent is in this yeah, body of work. Like, I hope you So I hope that you like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's nerve wracking to think about because like if you- I'm, I'm curious, what do you guys think so far? Do you like this new stuff? Do you like, do you, or do you prefer the old, the old one? The label's not gonna be like, yeah, write the next one. <laughs> like, you, you only get one shot to do yeah. this, bro. <laughs> I've heard of so many bands that get to a certain- Another certified gold, man, that's wild. That's so crazy. R-I-A-A -A certified. That's like the, the classic certification that you get for like when when you go, uh, what is it? It's silver, platinum, silver, gold, and platinum. Um, and I don't remember what they exactly are. I think, I think, I think silver is a hundred thousand copies sold. I think gold is a million copies sold. And I think platinum is 10 million copies sold, I believe. And, and then try to do it all on their own and it just doesn't work out. So like. It feels crazy putting everything on the line.
the video will be interesting. I'm excited to like kind of put my acting chops to test. <laughs> We're starting with a really good scene in regards to like, it'll get us warmed up, yeah. get our gears going. Perfect. Then at the end of the night, we end with a good one. Yeah, all the yeah. Way. Yes. No, the color though. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Nice, nice. Oh, no, it's coming. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Come on. What are you doing? Sorry. Yo, is that one of those rented electric scooters? That's mad funny. Man, give me that thing. Get inside. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's go. Get out of here. Tell him I need a mask. <laughs> oh. Are you always this late? Oh, yeah, it's a normal thing. Yo, that would have sucked if he didn't have the, if his temperature. It's so, actually, I, it's really interesting to see the behind the scenes with that kind of stuff, like the temperature stuff. Um, that's really interesting. What's up, Flo? What's up, my guy? It looks great. You're still Tanner. Bitch. I hate you. Baby, we could turn back time. You'd stay. Baby, I'd be lying if, if I didn't say I wish you'd stay. So wish you'd yeah. stay. You're going to start this part, and it's like at the, in the last... Am I performing? I'm singing. Yeah. Baby, we could turn back time. Yeah, but it's that hush part at the end. Baby, oh. we can turn Oh, it's interesting. I wonder, like... Like, so I wonder how many other things or what other things were shot in this studio because this is Studio 9. I wonder what else was shot in there. Yes, exactly. Every single person out there can relate to, you know, going through a breakup or... Yeah, that was the sickest part of the video when they rewound that thing. That was crazy. Falling in love with someone. I just can't see it not connecting because I know if I heard these songs, I would connect with them so hard. Yeah. We're writing from experiences and stuff in our lives. We just need that one hit song that goes mainstream. Oh, that was pretty cool. Look at that, how they, they strapped that camera Experiences to him. and stuff in our lives. We just need that one hit song that goes mainstream that turns Why Don't We into a household name. That is exact. Let me, hold on. This That point right there. Let's listen to it again. And that point, that point is so interesting. I want to focus on that really quick because that is super, super, super interesting that he just said. Listen, listen to that one more time, but I want to... And then I want to talk about that. That one hit. Listen to this. We're writing from experiences and stuff in our lives. We just need that one hit song that goes mainstream that turns Why Don't We into a household name. That is very, very, very interesting to hear them say. Um, because I've been commenting a lot and thinking about a lot. Like, these guys, you know, they have 13 million monthly listeners on Spotify. They have um, their number 319th band on Spotify at the moment, or close to it, like this. I checked on Sunday. Um, and I was wondering, why don't, like, if you say to somebody on the street, do you know, why don't we? They say no, typically. But they have millions and millions and millions of people listening every month. And I was wondering, like, why is the case in that? And that is so interesting to hear him say, like, all we need is that one hit song to go mainstream. And I guess that's that that because the difference is like the world is so segmented. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just commenting on how the world is so segmented that it creates this level of um, like, you know, there's 13 million people that listen to a Why Don't We. There's 13 million people that listen to NF. There's 13 million people that listen to Russ. There's 13 million people that listen to, you know, whoever. There's 13 people that listen to Jacob. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but for real though, like, and like, and that's what is really interesting is like, but they're, they're, even them still are still like working to get that one song that goes on the radio everywhere to make them a household name. That is really 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 interesting to hear that was pretty pretty wild interesting i'm hoping it's blowed us in we're gonna use the lights no. to make everything else disappear so and it'll just be fog on the ground dude we gotta do the, the, the silent night but that's that's kind of what they were saying though is like so to, to comment on what you guys are saying like it upsets you that they're not in the mainstream but like that's what they're saying too is like they just need that one song that gets played everywhere. Like it's just that it's quote unquote the breakout song. They have a huge fan base, and that's really interesting. They have a huge fan base, but they haven't had that song yet that gets played like on the radios and like like just everywhere. That one song, you know, like for example, like let, let's let's give an example of um something modern actually. So if we let me just bring this back for two seconds. We got a, like a, like thirty seconds left in the video, but I want to. This is I find a really interesting topic. So like let's talk about um. For example, you, you ever hear the song uh, oh, by 24K Golden? Uh, 
Why you gotta be so? Uh, no, what is it? It's um, you always you always in the mood. You walk around, walk around, do da 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 da. You know that song like "Mood" by Twenty Four K Gold and Ian Dior. Um, they that song like he had some pretty big hits and he had actually actually a pretty big following beforehand. But that song put Twenty Four K Golden on the map. It's just everywhere now. And ho however long that lasts is, is not the point. It's the fact that that made him to some degree a relative household name. Like everybody's heard the song. Why are you always in the mood, messing around, acting brand new, da, da 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 da. You know, and that's what they're talking about. They're waiting for that one song, whether it be Fallen or Slow Down or even their new stuff like uh, Be Yourself or Be Myself. Like they're waiting for that one to be everywhere so that everybody knows. Why don't we? That is really really interesting. <laughs> Although actually, I want to say that I've heard "Falling," uh, uh, "Fall In," "Fall In," "Adrenaline." I've heard that at my gym. That's come on several times at my gym, and I've been like, "Wow, this is why don't we?" That's pretty wild, actually. Oh, that's gonna be. Dope. That's gonna be dope, right? That's gonna be sick. You know, meat noggin. Oh, no way. Dude, meat that's good. I'm a huge shoe geek. Travis Scott, Cactus Jacks. These are my favorite shoes I've ever bought. I like put a pair of my mom's like pink high heels on and like put like a skirt on and was like trying to like dance and stuff. That's how this family works. <laughs> Yo, Lotus Inn's going live right now. <laughs> Tomorrow's up. Oh, that's cool. All the families to watch the Lotus, Lotus Inn together. That's wild. Whoa. Guys, guys ready? Tomorrow? What do you guys think? Should we go for episode two now or should we do it later? Episode two now or should we do it later? What do you guys think? You guys can decide. <clears throat> Before we even go into episode two or not, uh, let's see if you guys have any questions in this live stream. Let's see if we can ask any questions. See you guys if you guys have any questions, and then episode. All right, we'll do episode two. But let me uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, and we can answer some questions. Uh, and let me while I get episode two ready up and queued. So let me know if there's any questions. What's interesting is that episode one had. 1.2 million views this episode two has 309,000 okay wow a thousand messages in the chat to say do it now i will do it now that's fine let's do it now um that's really funny uh let me just edit the name of this thing so it says episode one and two so people can know that both happened that's really funny all right we'll do two uh Perfect. What's up, Garrett? How's it going? All right, we're going to get going. Uh, let's see. Who is my... F when will... Uh, so, Leone, the new song that I produced called uh, Proof of the Promise is coming out this Friday. I'm pumped about it. Uh, it's about. It's actually about just focusing on, on your progress and not worrying about what other people think and just keep going on your progress. Uh, my favorite member... I don't know if I have a favorite member. Um, man, this is going way too fast. I can't even keep up. Uh... Oh, that Patricia, that is a killer question. What I Patricia wrote in the live chat, would I rather have one hit that makes me a household name or a fan base that keeps me going? And that's actually a cool, great question. That is actually a fear of mine. Like a, one of my biggest musical career fears is to have one huge hit and that's and never re be able to reproduce it. That is terrifying to me because I, I want to be a musician that makes a living out of it. I want to be like the Ed Sheeran's or the Maroon 5's or the Coldplay's or any of these bands that have been around for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you know, obviously none of them have been, but like that have been around for a while. Like I don't want to be like these guys. I was just talking like, you know, to, with my friend about this on Sunday, um, which is when I looked up the stats for why don't we, which is funny. It was the same conversation, but I was saying like, it's terrifying to know or to, to, to think about these huge hits like you see, hear some of these hits and they're, they're there for a year or something like that and then where's the band go and like that is so scary to me um no i would so much rather have a, a fan base that keeps me going uh than one huge hit that everybody knows but th but that's crazy um all right let's go into this next live let's get this queued up uh that's a good question i do not have kids yet uh, kids will be in the future. Me and my wife, Jamie, uh, sometime in the future. Do I have a favorite Why Don't We song? I would probably say um, Eight Letters has to be one of my favorite. I think that is really, really catchy. Um, I think Eight Letters might be one of my favorite. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, any other questions? I, uh, I'm i doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. 
Lotus in or slow down? Would de I would definitely have to say slow down would be my, my prefer. Avani, I plan, I, I think this should, should be on YouTube after the fact, so you can join, you can watch it later. Um, but let's get going. What's up, Chris? Yo, shout out to Chris. Uh, big, big, big help actually with a lot of the writing of my song. So give, give Chris a shout out because he, he's written, he, he and I have written a lot of songs together on a live stream. He's a crazy, uh, uh, yes, of course, I'll definitely, uh, he's a crazy songwriter is what I was going to say. But yes, of course, I'll, I'll, I'll react to the whole uh, live stream. Uh, I'm sorry, the whole um, uh, new album. I've actually been toying with the idea of reacting to the album live, like going straight up live reacting to the album. Um, whether that be at midnight when it's released here in the U.S. or at early in the morning, I'm debating. So actually, while you guys are here, let me ask you guys a question. Do you would you do you think you'll be around? Would you are you gonna wait up until midnight U.S. time or New York time to listen to it, or are you gonna listen to it in the morning? So I'm wondering when I should do that live stream because I'm debating doing it live. So let me know. Would you prefer like a midnight one, or would you prefer like a I don't know sometime during the day, or maybe even Friday evening? Because it released on Friday the fifteenth. So like, should I do like a seven p.m. on Friday? Should I do like? Do you want it to be your first experience listening listening together, or do you want to hear it first on your own and then listen to it? Um, or do you want like so like yeah? So do you want to hear it by what's up, Kara's Limelight? I want to give you a shout out. Actually, I use a lot of your videos in my. Uh, on my channel, I, 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 for the, the videos on the screen. So I want to give you a shout out. Thank you for posting all this stuff because that's where I get a lot of the content from. So give a shout out to Kara's Limelight. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you, would you rather, would you guys rather um, it be our first, like your first listen together, us listening to get together, or would you rather it be us doing it um, on your, like you listen on your own first and then me listen, then you have a second listen with me. Uh, but let's get started. I think we're gonna use lights to make everything else disappear, so you just see you guys in this like just oh, just oh, oh, that's cool. It starts off right, like pretty much with the the next thing. That's pretty wild. Oh my! Yeah. Yo, everybody, shout out! Give some Kara's limelight some love, cause she. I get a lot of content from her, so give her some love. Or oh, him, him or her. That's gonna be dope, right? That's gonna be sick. Five so we're doing seven total performances? No. no. Five for radio, one for TikTok. No. Oh, they did a TikTok live performance? Five for radio, one for TikTok. We're doing seven total performances? No. Five for radio, one for TikTok. No. Okay. So yeah, these are just seven sick. looks with the same package. We we're talking about getting like a bunch of Christmas trees and putting them on dolly tracks so people can pull them. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen that even done before. No, me neither. Yeah, let's but do it that. seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, I know. Like, why don't you rock the Christmas <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that 100. percent Oh, so I'm. I want. I wonder if they filmed all their their Christmas stuff live in the studio and just sent it to those places. I've been wondering about that. The last day of rehearsal. Yeah, Guys, ready? Tomorrow? So my brother is like, I've always wanted a pit bull. I was like, Kara, yeah, cool. And he seems like a cutie. Hopefully he just trains him well, you know? <laughs> Look at that dinosaur with the mask on. That's mad funny. Okay. I'm gonna meet doggy. Yo, who's driving an electric car, man? <laughs> Daniel, look at him. Oh, no way. Dude, meet Tuscan. Mommy. Oh, my God. Wait, Dude. he's so cute. Isn't he so soft, too? Toby, are you jealous? Are you Dude, jealous, buddy? Look at Co yeah. It's okay, buddy. I'm telling you, Washington was a weird place. I miss it in the weirdest way. Do you miss it? Whenever I go back, it's like a little pocket state where it's just so slow. It's like a bubble. Peaceful. It was weird seeing dad <laughs> go from pastor of the church we grew up going to, and he was, and we were pastor's sons, yeah. to moving to- Oh, that's wild, man. I didn't know that. That's cool. Play. Good he for picked them. up longboarding now. I think he's just living the rock star lifestyle he always wanted to live. <laughs> oh, man. So is this the pallet in the driveway? Yeah, so it's 25,000 CDs. Dude, this is sick, though. Is it like... 
25,000 The craziest CDs. thing about seeing all the songs that you wrote. Written yeah. by Daniel C.V., Jonah Mayer, Corbin Besson. Like, that's the craziest thing, dude. That's insane. It says recorded at C.V. Studios. C.V. Studios, that's wild. <laughs> that's really? the, that's okay. the room here. All right. C.V. Studios. That's crazy. That's actually really wild. That's really funny. That is, that's nuts. I'm gonna steal one from my mother. We have a week and a half to sign all of them. I'm gonna just be up all night drinking White Claws and signing. I remember the first time I was like, oh, you're big. 25,000, that's was, crazy. Was when we went to Disneyland. Somebody's mom pulled you from the back and was like, eh, are you Daniel? Take a picture with my daughter. And I was like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah. That was so crazy to see like thousands of girls greet you at the airport and like, <laughs> Literally felt like I was like living a Beatles documentary. Huh. I remember you would take all of our suitcases and you would connect them all and make that like yeah. shield and we would all walk through yeah, it. Like circle of luggage. And we would all be in the middle like, hey guys. <laughs> we all congested together. I miss it, dude. I miss the ring. We finally are playing instruments and playing live and we can't, you know. Oh, so I guess that that was a big thing of the fact of like that they wanted to play instruments live. Uh, but I guess their label or their their wouldn't let them. They wanted to be them more of like a pop band. What's interesting though is I wonder like are they did they leave their label or like what did they do like how come they this this album is a lot more on their own. But it'll be worth the wait for sure. Olivia, thank you so much for that compliment. <laughs> nice blues scale, pentatonic blues. <laughs> When I was nine years old, I used to beatbox. I wanted to be like a famous beatboxer. And I made this video on YouTube because I was trying to get on Ellen. Ellen, this is for you. <laughs> Yo, that's wild because they've actually performed live on Ellen. So that's wild. That's been one of my like dreams as a musician, like growing up, like you always saw Ellen and Ellen was mad funny and always get those giveaways and stuff like, I've always dreamed about being on Ellen. And like, that's what I actually said when I first started, this is really funny. You guys might find this really funny. When I first joined, like started, so not joined, when I first started my music career, I, that was like one of the goals. I'm like, I don't know I made it as a musician when I'm on Ellen. Um, I don't even know if Ellen still has her shows, but uh, I, I stink and loved, loved Ellen and, and all she did. <laughs> I, I would love to go on I Ellen, just, but. I like, would sit there and watch every Ellen performance and interview. That was the dream. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I was really focused on that's so funny i wonder how many musicians have similar thought processes because like i literally when i first started out was like i want to go like i'll know i made it as a musician when i get on ellen At the time i was like if i could be on ellen one day <laughs> it's just sort of a surreal moment you know knowing that we're gonna be on there that's so next crazy man and will release their highly anticipated new album the good times and the bad ones on january 15th here to perform fallen please welcome why don't we <laughs> Dude, that's a dream of mine. That's wild. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward that so I don't get any copyright claims. Let's see if we can. There we go. Well, how'd we do? Oh wait, he missed it? <laughs> that's a meter though. I'm gonna get to meter this time. What'd he say? We got to meet her though. Oh, I guess maybe they filmed it previously and sent it to her. That sucks. Well, how do we do? <laughs> I wish we got to meet her though. We didn't get to meet her this time. That sucks. I think it's amazing that we got Ellen, but it sucks that that had to happen in the middle of a pandemic because I would love to actually tell her that I grew up watching your show and you're this amazing. Dude, that sucks, man. For sure, man. That really, that really Person. sucks. Me. That's wild. That's wild. I mean, three years ago, did you think we'd be here today? Absolutely not. In LA? No. Absolutely I had not. <laughs> no idea. Everything just happened so fast. And then you Well, I, you feel, know like, what? You I like... feel like my whole life just goes fast. Yeah. They, I have to agree with that. I feel like things have gone fast for them. I feel like they, what they started in 2016, now it's 2020. It's, but I actually, so if you're not on my texting group, join the texting group, um, the two different numbers, WhatsApp or regular. I'm also gonna be starting a Discord. So, um, but I just sent out a text today saying, pretend for a second that you're the only person in the room, you're the only person left in the world 
Oh, let me let me let me say this for a sec because that's actually a really interesting comparison. I said, pretend for a second you're the only person left in the world, and there's no one left to compare yourself to. Would you be happy with the progress that you've recently made? If so, then that's all that matters. And here I am. I have the opportunity right now to compare myself to them. You know, they started at, they started their band four years ago, 2015, 2016, and now they're huge. 13 million subs, uh, listeners on Spotify. I started in 2014, you know, six or almost seven years ago, 2013, 2014, and I'm nowhere near that level. So I could compare myself or I could just be happy with the progress that I've recently been made. And uh, But that goes not only for music and careers, for anything, for, you, you know, your self-image, for finances, for career, like... So don't don't compare yourself to others. Be happy with your recent progress and don't compare yourself to others. Um, but if you're not on the texting, join the texting group for sure. When it came time to think about this was really happening to you, like this was real, we wanted you to be with your siblings. And when you leave the house at 15, like you, you miss those times, like with, just those times, like knock on your brother's door. <laughs> well, I've just been so thankful that you've been home this whole time. Because of COVID, but well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's a lot I mean, of up and downs good. in COVID, but I feel like it happens for a reason. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's true. Everything. Yeah. Every I find it so interesting, like when you watch like these live things, or not like, the, but like the the documentaries, like to see the products that people use that you use. Like for example, like I have Meyer soap in my house. Like this is Kirkland. Um, what's it called? Uh, garlic powder. Like I use that all the time. That's just really Kirkland's Costco Costco brand. COVID, but I feel like. It happens for a reason, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's true. Everything, yeah, everything happens that. for a reason. That's how I live my life. We gotta find make some guac. Landing, we gotta, you know. Selfishly, it felt like we got some of our time back that we lost <laughs> yeah, from yeah, yeah, being yeah. gone yeah, yeah, and yeah, been, sure. being so busy. Yeah, I, I'm just like proud of us. It's, it's like you know, this is what we've been like kind of waiting to do for like ever. And, you know, yeah. I, I'm actually. You know, getting better at guitar every single yeah, time. Absolutely. I have these yeah. crazy calluses on my hands now from just working eight hours a day. Let's talk about calluses on hair. So, like, if you've ever played guitar, I don't know if can you guys see these on. The, you can probably probably do this and pick it up. I have every guitar. So, if you've been playing for a while, you develop these calluses um, because your fingers don't want to uh, experience the pain. Like, or, or or constant playing on the fingers, your fingers develop. The human body's amazing, and it says, "Hey, we don't want to feel this pain anymore. So, <clears throat> let's." Uh, develop these calluses preventing the pain and you actually guitarists develop these calluses and they're actually little bumps on your fingers I, I, let's see if it'll focus nah but you 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 can you develop these calluses um and it hurts at first but then then uh then you get over it and it doesn't hurt anymore like i've been i played i've played gigs where uh on like a saturday where i went from like i played three different gigs i played one you know I think it was two hour gig in the morning. Then I went to play like another half hour. Then I played like another f uh, three hour gig. So I played probably there are days that I played like, you know, and then I had the next thing the next day, like, like eight to 10 hours and two days of guitar. Like, and it just, it doesn't phase me anymore. My fingers, cause I've been playing for 10 years. Um, but when I first started five minutes of guitar would hurt. It's working on our music. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Oh, here we go. Let's talk about some, what's it called? Uh, vocoder. I'm pumped to hear this. Can you hear that vocoder? That is a vocoder. It, what it is, I talk about this all the time in my my reactions and if you want to learn even more and see them in use, I'm going to give some examples of them. Check out the Patreon. Um, vocoders you run this the vocals hey look we got the same headphones on me and him um uh they are it's a uh, synthesizer where you run through your vocals through and create this like robotic kind of chord harmony bro yeah we're having christmas lights hooked up to the lighting console on trees so the trees will go oh wow yeah okay so like you're playing in front of huge trees that are all like oh sick thanks yeah, danny appreciate the support Singing that while doing. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. This is really mature. It's really good. Snare full band. Everybody is. 
it's cool to see how much Daniel like directs the band and and how he really has his vision of how he wants the songs to sound. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Deep Rocks. Appreciate okay. that. It's really dope. Check it for one second. All right, I'm getting really excited. This shit stokes me the fuck out. Lily, send me some of your songs. I definitely love to check them out. Um, maybe you know, maybe one day we can do a little collab or something like that. But definitely send me some stuff. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Can you hear this? Listen, listen real close. Can you hear the metronome in there? That's giving them the time, giving them the, the beats. Um, how like how it's, I'm gonna I'm have a little snack while we're eat, while we're here. Um, hopefully you don't hear me chewing. Uh, but uh, that is um, <clears throat> metronome is keeping them on time. You can hear it, and they have it running through through their in ear monitors. Yo, the drum is sick. Come on. So we got, let's talk about this stuff. You have the chord vocoder right there, which is sick, man. That's really cool, actually. I, I think that's pretty wild. You have the Nord Stage 2, which is probably, the Nord Stage 2 and the Nord Stage 3 are the, probably the most uh, popular live keyboards ever. Like, they are super versatile. You can actually plug them into your computer and create your own sounds and then put them back in the synthesizer where you can use them live. Then we have the sick, looks like uh, a uh, analog Moog synthesizer, which is pretty wild, too. It's awesome, dude. I wonder who that guy is, like this, who's kind of directing this rehearsal. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Outrageous. The first time you came home from LA, I think that was when I realized you were actually kind of cool. <laughs> Because <laughs> you definitely weren't before. <laughs> you were bad at first. What do you mean? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come on. Every single musician's terrifying. Dude, if you saw some of the stuff, if you scroll back to my early like YouTube and stuff, like every artist is bad. We're terrible when we first start. When you I nowadays? first started singing? <laughs> yes. I was but shit. He was building yeah. some fans. I was horrible singing when I first started. It just takes I was horrible. Horrible. Um, it just takes practice, man. I've been singing for, what is it now? Um, seven years. I was horrible. And then what? You just need to start and you go for it. Then he told us he was just going to leave. Yeah, what? You were 16, 17? Yeah. Yeah, so I was like 14, 15. When you came, when you guys came to that first show in Philly, what was like your first impression of it? It was so cool. <laughs> we can be free. <laughs> you know we can that be one? Free. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's weird oh, I remember when work. you'd come home and you did this one thing where you pointed and you went like, <laughs> <laughs> and you came home and we were well. rehearsing it in front of me and mom and I was like, yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I go for it. <laughs> we kind of just like announced the band and then we were just in LA from that. Point. What is that thing? Is that a cassette? And on, and I was like, I hope it works out. <laughs> <laughs> When I was in ninth grade, my mom got breast breast cancer, and uh, she's totally fine now. She's so strong and beat it and everything. But at the time, she was going to treatments all the time, um, and like my dad was with her, of course. And like that was just very much taking all of the energy of our family. So I wasn't like hanging out with friends. I was really just at home all the time. So that's kind of what drew me to the internet, just to try to sort of escape that. I think. There would be maybe like 20 or 30 people watching them. And I was like, okay, that's cool. 20 or 30 people watching at 15, 16 years old. It's amazing, man. Good for him. I remember like really trying to hold viewers and I like put a pair of my mom's like pink high heels on and like put like a skirt on and was like trying to like dance and stuff. By the middle of that summer, there was a broadcast where I had like 60,000 people tune in to one. What? I remember going and telling my mom and dad that, and they were like, what? Like, what are you even doing? Like, or, like they had no idea that that was happening. I was just in my room, like, <laughs> talking and like, to so many people. It was really cool. That's wild, man. That's crazy. Crazy. Crazy to think back to that. Oh, so I'm curious how, I'm really curious how they did this. You look like the wow. villain in, in COVID. COVID test. Oh, he does look like the villain. That's mad funny. Normal. 
Come on, dude. You want to go to Christmas, dude? Let's go see Christmas. Just don't slip and fall on this when you're uh, dancing around today. And we just got to get these guys in some St. Nick costumes. Okay? I wonder if they clean they clean that probably for one of two reasons. One, to clean it. Or two, to give it a wet look because when wet... Wet floors, uh, when wet streets give a very cool look when you're uh, when you're filming. <laughs> this is the first time we're performing these songs for the public. Hopefully, we don't suck. <laughs> Look at those vocal warm ups. <laughs> so we'll do like generic holiday. That's cool how the uh, the guys in the back are wearing their face masks. Yeah, intercom, and then all That's three cool. jingle balls in a row. We have a lot to do. So I want the energy level to be as high as we can. So I'm stoked this fucking rocket, yeah, man. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day, man. Generic holiday, take one. All cameras roll, please. Generic holiday, take one. What's up, people of Earth? We're why don't we? And uh, we're wishing you a safe and happy holiday season. Oh, Wild, don't we jingle Happy ball holidays, Barrier. Where, why don't we? Oh, see, that's really interesting because I've seen a lot of these videos, and that's pretty wild that they all filmed them beforehand. Let's, go. Let's do it. That's really wild. Just fast forwarding this stuff, so try to avoid the copyright claims. So tender. We should cut it. Yo, that was wild. That Silent Night uh, was was crazy. Do that one separate. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, a miracle is gonna take place, and Fallen is just kind of. Dude, I. Every time I hear it, dude, I, I I'm think just. It, like, what does that say? That's the thing. I think it, people don't know they want different until it hits. That's a good point. People don't know they want different until it hits them. We'll call it Jingle Ball After Party Three. Now it's a wrap. Now it's a wrap. Yeah. Let's go. Dude, you know how much? I don't think you guys realize how much work it probably was to film all these things. It's probably exhaust. They were probably there for eight to ten hours. I wouldn't be surprised. You feeling good on that? Dog. Yeah. Safe, baby. Safe. Yeah, it sounded great. <laughs> Nothing like reality. <laughs> it's cool. It's a good deal. We don't need to know baloney around here. Randy, wait till you hear your band in a couple days. <laughs> I don't want to. It's no tune, no nothing. It's crazy, dude. That's so. I think I want to say a little. I think Zach did play bass during Fallen because he. Uh, I, they were commenting on somebody in thinking the first episode about like playing bass. So we should have played earlier. We're really doing. It. Thank you, Skylight Studios. Appreciate the support. Thank you guys. Actually, I just want to take a quick second to say thank you guys all so much for supporting this channel and for joining me on this live stream. I can't honestly, I can't believe how many people are here right now. So it's wild. So I just want to take a very heartfelt moment and say thank you so much for the support. So the album's dropping soon, so these are the radio lounges. This is like one of the coolest things. It's gonna be a full day, so we just gotta keep it focused. We have to sign 25,000 copies. 25,000 copies in the next 10 days. See, like mathematically, I don't know if we have the time. We work our asses off. It's just crazy sometimes. <laughs> this is like the 10th tenth... Getting the tone on the, 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 the guitar. We've done this this month. We added some because the demand was so high. Literally woke up working and then going to bed working. It's been a couple long weeks. I'm trying to just go get away for a little bit. I can smell the tequila already. Cheers to a good time. That's the dream that you have that song that just touches the world. I want to say thank you all for being here. That's cool, man. All right, we are going to do the third one in a different episode. We are not going to do that one today, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely, uh, I definitely did, actually. I, I got a lot, I'm not going to lie. I, I definitely enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was. It was actually way more interesting. Um, so in the comments, let me know. Comment below. Not in the live chat, more if you want, I guess, in the live chat. I might not see it in the live chat, but if you want, comment other artists who I'm going to do this with because um, I actually found it really interesting. I thought it was really cool to see the behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content. It means so much to me that you guys are supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Like I said, I'm giving away uh, a necklace to those that where to go. A necklace to those that join the Patreon. Send me a message on the Patreon saying that you joined because of this video, and you will be entered in to win the necklace. It has a JR imprinted on it. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. God bless. Peace out. And remember, don't compare yourself to others. Uh, do uh, just compare yourself to you.
Ah, uh, what is here? Let's see anything else. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, fam.